thanks for the question project ELI uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a thumbnail now there's some presets in GIMP that you can use that uh, will pretty much make a customized thumbnail for you so what you do is go up to file and go down to create and go down to buttons now these are great uh, if you just want to make a quick button for some account or something that's what it would look at like right there just quick easy nothing to them and there are actually quite a few little presets there you can check out the other button I've already got them loaded up with sayings but you would just type whatever text you want in there and you can also go down to logos and there's some pretty cool ones in there and that's how you change the chat text so as you can see they're pretty cool check out another one here not really looking like crystal there more like tile alright but to create your own you go to new you set the settings to whatever size you need hit OK and I'll assume you want some text on there so you go to your text tool font tool get your area selected where you want your text and think of something to say <laughs> as you see I put a space in there like I said a lot of times with some of the fonts it'll cut it off but if you use your drag tool and then hit control you can drag it straight down and I get a little confused on what I want to do here with it now that looks pretty plain right there so I decide to undo it go back to my floating thumbnail layer there or it's not floating but it's a second layer and I'll close the eye on it I'll select the bottom layer and I'll use a gradient I'll select my gradient tool make sure it's on uh, linear and then left click and then let go I'll reopen it and it still doesn't look good so I go ahead and close the eye on it and add a transparent layer which I really didn't need to do but I went ahead and did it anyway and I grabbed the font tool again and I decided to go ahead and do some white lettering in the background so I select my area I uh, decided at the last minute I needed to change the color you go down to there select white there we go it's good to go now because I didn't click back in my box and I started to type again that kept happening I was just like duh and then I realized oh yeah I gotta click in the box so if that ever happens to you that's what's happening so I'll open it up go back to my move tool and line them up kinda close I don't want them perfect I want them a little off I'll go back and close that and I'll blur it and then duplicate it so I'll go up to the filters go down to blur Gaussian blur and I just left it at 5 and then I just started duplicating it until I got a good blur and I merge all those down and 
and then duplicate the final one a couple times there. And I didn't wasn't really getting the blur that I wanted. So after I merge these down, I go back to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I turn it up to 40. <laughs> There's my blur. Now I'll duplicate that a couple of times till it's nice and bold and go ahead and merge all those down. And oh my, there we go. So there it is. That's a, a finished quick custom thumbnail that will fit what you were looking for. Now, at this point, you would save it. Now, it's best just to use a picture or something that's already been done instead of trying to create all of the art yourself. I mean, you can do it. I mean, that's not a problem, but it's just a lot easier to uh, grab pictures that you have that are already done and do something with them. So that'll about wrap it up for this. And uh, thanks for watching. Y'all take care, and I appreciate the questions. Uh, and uh, if you have any more, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to do these videos. I enjoy playing with GIMP. So y'all take care. Have a good one. And laters. Mm -hmm.